So now we're on to our second part of our second project, our mark making project. And now we're going to be painting. So this is your watercolor palette. This is what it should look like. And you should definitely have some black watercolor in there. Now remember I told you that we were going to use water for the white. Well there is white watercolor. Uh, it just, it makes the watercolor a little dull in my opinion. See, this is orange with white, and this is just orange with water. They're both the same value. They're both the same darkness. Um, but this one is a little bit more muted, almost like a pastel. So you could use white watercolor if that's the look you want. If you want to uh, create a muted water, uh, muted pastel looking composition with the black India ink, that's fine. So, or if you don't, you can just add water. So let me show you how to do that. So this is a watercolor palette. It's a heavy duty plastic. Sometimes they come in ceramic. So this is a heavy plastic. So what you want to do is I'm going to use, remember we can pick three colors. So I'm going to pick this magenta, this aqua color, and this orange. So let's say I just wanted to use water for the white. So I'm going to take some of this aqua, this turquoise color, put it in my palette, rinse out my brush, I have some paper towel here to dry it off on. Dry it off. Then take a small amount of the black. If you want to change the value. Right? Okay, so this is what it looks like. Sort of like a dark, dirty turquoise, right? But say I wanted to make that lighter. So what I do is I take some water and I just add it in. To my little palette cup there and I test it out. So it's the same hue, that dirty turquoise, but it's much lighter. Let's say we wanted to add the white to it. I'll show you what that difference is. So I add, get some white on my brush, add it in to my palette. Okay, you won't really see a difference with this until it dries. But you could do all your colors in this palette mixed with white to create a pastel look. That's totally fine. Let's see if you see. This one's a little bit more vibrant than this one. Let's see. This is a little more vibrant than this one. This one's a little bit pastel. So it's up to you. So now I'm going to choose, I'm just going to use water for my white. And now I'm going to choose where I want to put my areas of color. So I want to get a little water on my brush and I want to just fill in this one area. You could go over the black, that's fine. Actually, what would be nice is to get it really dark on one area. And since it's watercolor, you use water to spread it around, spread out the color. So I leave it dark in one area and I push the puddle, it's called. If you, let's see, let me get a piece of watercolor paper here. If you have some watercolor and you see that puddle forming, you see that puddle forming? That's, you want to push that puddle out. Otherwise, it will dry, that puddle will dry and it will create a darker mark here. It won't be a nice flat color or even it won't be a nice striated color. It will see how that's already drying and you can see that line where I stopped and it started to dry and now I'm pulling it again with water. It's very hard to go back and fix that. 
So with watercolor, unfortunately, you have to work fast. It's not like acrylic where you can take your time. So you can see it very faintly right there. Okay, so that's the start of my color composition here. And let's say now I wanted to use, maybe I wanted to use that aqua with that white in my palette. Let's try that. Let's bring it in over here. See the white going over the black. India ink, it sort of makes a mark. So you could just wipe it off with your finger, or you can just get, it makes the black look chalky, or you can just go back in with paper towel. Okay, so I have some of that white here. So maybe now I want to do a different area. Maybe now I want to do this area. Uh, let's see, I'll do it this magenta color. So I'll start off dark again, maybe. Coming around here, and then I'm going to push, pull it out with water. You need water to move watercolor. Okay, and I want it a little bit darker over here, so I'm going to just add a little bit more. Take that off my brush, add a little water, and just pull it again. Okay, that's pretty. So maybe now I want to do this area too and I want to do it, or maybe I want to do it with the white. So I add some pink, magenta, wash my brush off, because you don't want to have magenta on your brush when you put it in the white, right? And I'll add some white. So just to test that color, see? It's like more like a pastel. Okay, so maybe now I want to use that in here. I'm just going to add a little water to pull the color. You can also pick up the puddle just by getting some on your brush, almost like a sponge, and pulling it up and then just drying it off on the paper towel. That's pretty. See how that's coming along? So you just want to pick different areas to concentrate on and then design those areas. Like you saw, I did some dark here and then I pulled the color with some water, made it lighter, and then I added another value of the aqua, of the turquoise. I added a different value, a lighter value with using the white. Same thing here, okay? So you just want to fill in those areas using black and white to change the value of your three colors. And I will see you in class.